Hello, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'd like to speak about taking care of where we work and not biting the hand that feeds you. So this can be maybe where you work or someone who is taking care of you, who is paying your school fees, who is staying with you and providing accommodation to you. I'd just like to remind us that it's important that we appreciate them because one thing we should know is that it's not a must for them to assist us. But really, basically, the thing that brought about this topic to my mind was recently, and uh, around the month of January, February, I visited one of the biggest chains of supermarkets in Nairobi, Kenya, and I had an incident. What happened is I had gone to buy something, and it's a, a battery for a certain kit that I needed to use, and I could not get it in most of the places it was like it was out of stock. So I go to this uh, supermarket, and when I reach there, the lady tells me it's available. So I, I tell her, let me buy stuff, then I pay everything together as I pay for that battery. Immediately I was done, I went back to the counter where the batteries are being sold, and the lady told me that she could not get the screw to open the key and put the battery. It was a very small battery that I needed to use. So, I was really really tired and I told the lady really I've really gone round I've stopped here I've confirmed before buying and you said it's available then the kind of answer the lady gave me really made me wonder she answered me and told me it's okay just leave whatever you have bought put, just leave it down there you can go to another place I was really pissed off one thing is Myself, I work with clients, so I try to treat people the way I'd expect someone else to treat me. So what I did, I looked at this lady and saw she was young. Maybe she didn't have that training or in, she wasn't so much informed. She hasn't seen so much in life and she had no idea that whatever she does had a great impact in that chain of stores. So I spoke to her and I told her what she did was wrong. I did not report her, but at least I spoke to her and I told her, that it is important to value even if it is just one plant. And I gave an example of one of the biggest chain stores that we had previously before that one that collapsed. And I told her, the one plant going is very important. For her, she didn't mind because at the end of the month she got her salary. But the owner of the business, I'm sure, is the kind of person who would have wanted to maintain a client. So, I even went ahead and told her the reason I come to this store is because I like buying bre brown bread in their store. Otherwise, I normally don't. I would have preferred to go somewhere else where I could have purchased whatever I wanted. But I came to this store, number one, because I, did, I was looking for that battery. Number two, because I also like buying bread there. So while I was buying the battery, I also made use of buying other stuff. I really got pissed off. I spoke to her, but it's like she did. She really, from the expression on her face, it was like I was just speaking to myself. At least I told her, and I gave her an example. So around this year, that was in around February. So this year, it was either end of January or February. So this year, it has been in the media all over. That chain store is falling down. Things are going wrong for them. This is a chain store that is found in many of the towns in Kenya. You go outside Nairobi, that chain store is there. It's a chain store that has, it's, a, it's one of the favorite for most people. You normally go there during weekends, the lines are so long. But I'm telling you, as of beginning of around May, June, and now we are in July, that store is empty. Number one, first, I started noticing that they have reduced the number of floors where they were putting their stuff. Things have been reduced. You go to the supermarket, it's a supermarket. You go there, you don't even find majority of things are missing on the shelves. So this is one thing that will definitely make you ask yourself, why do I have to come here if I can go to the next one and buy everything at once? Because most people, I'm sure, you don't like buying things half, pay, jump to another store, buy half, pay. You'd prefer buying everything in one place. This lady did not see that. But I'm sure after what has happened, because it, no, it is less than six months since I spoke to her, she has definitely seen it. And if she can remember, I believe she's learning a lesson from it. 
One thing I'd like to request, especially the young people, most grown-ups know it's difficult for us to be employed, to find jobs, to keep them, to keep clans. It's not easy. I'd like to encourage and request young people who are now getting into employment, even if it's a small place, even if it's somebody's house you're working for, it doesn't have to be a big company or anything. Kindly assist the owner of that company to take care of their business. Because they have had to sacrifice a lot, they have had to invest a lot, put capital in that business for it to flourish. Don't ever look at the business you're working for and feel like you are such a big brand that you cannot be able to fail. Very simple things, very small things can make a company fall down. And some of those things could be the staff. At least let the company fall down for another issue, but not because the staff in the company assisted the, cl the, the clients to run away. Because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for my, my preference in that supermarket, I could have just gotten annoyed and said I will never come back here. But there's a reason I still go back there. I was in town today and I just saw most of those stores, the displays that they used to have are now closed. There's nothing to be shown on the display. You, yes, the doors are open, but that the display windows are, are, were completely shut. Because I think they don't even have things to display on the, on the, on the windows. You know? So it is really, really important. We are told that it's very important. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. You know, never bite the hand that feeds you. Maybe where you work you have an issue with someone. Please look at the company as the company. Don't look at the person who is directly affecting you. Because this person maybe has also been employed the same way you've been employed. This person maybe is also helping to make this company fall. And this owner, this person is not the owner of the company. They can also leave, get another job somewhere. But the company, when it falls, the owner loses completely. They, it's very difficult for them to come back under the same name. It will take a lot. It will take a lot of sacrifice for the company to come back to where it was. So if you have an issue, be it with people you work with, be it with someone who's directly above you, don't mess the company because of that person. Just try and find a way of solving your issue if it's possible. Find a way of solving your issue, but do not judge the company by letting it fall, by, let, by working with attitudes because of an individual. The company is much bigger than that individual. That's why I normally say it's very, very important to be aware of some things in life. Ask yourself, this company has been there for so many years, 10 years, 20 years, while this person came here three or four years ago. Why should I now be treated clients with an attitude because maybe I've been I've had a, an issue with my boss or some or my supervisor or just somebody who's working with me think big think about the owner of that business if they flourish then you flourish if they get enough money maybe then you'll get a pay raise when you're doing something when somebody asks you about your company if you're sure the company is good talk well about your company just recently, another thing that I noticed in that company, I'm not sure how many companies work, but you know, normally it's good to get feedback. And for good leaders, they know that feedback is good. It helps me to change and direct my staff how they should do things. It's not a way of making someone to get punished. So when I went to the customer care, I went to that supermarket a second time because it's near the area where I live. So it's, it's, it's nearer. I went to the supermarket again another time and I really needed to buy some marker pens again. So I had to go to this counter again and I dealt with this same person. It's like the person is always at the counter. So I went to the counter, dealt with the same person and she remembered me. And the attitude she served me with, it was really wrong. I think she remembered the things I told her. This is before the company started falling, started going down. So one thing, I really got pissed off. Fine, I did not speak to her again. I thought, you know, you're an adult. I gave you my feedback, and I tried to show you it's important to value somebody else's business. I went to the customer care, gave them feedback. They really insisted I tell them who the person was, but I just told them this. I was served that this way on, on a particular day he came here. This is how your client, your staff told me to drop the staff down and just go somewhere else. 
not minding that I'll be taking that money to another business. The customer care really begged me to tell them who the person was, but I thought I did not come here to help someone get punished. I already spoke to the person. So if they were going to learn, they, whatever I had told them was enough for them to get advice and learn. So this time, I discovered again, when you went to the parking of this place, there's the, they had a very small parking, and the rest of the parking you have to pay. It's like five or six cars that you can park for free, and they're normally taken. So after a while going to the same place, I discovered they have a very big free parking at the, behind their building. And they had never put a sign, but the person who was taking care of the parking, the security, it's like they were taking advantage with the owner of the parking that is being paid. Always she could tell you, there's no parking, but maybe if you're not staying for long, just talk to the owner of that parking, you'll be given a discount, you'll be able to park, and then you'll sort out yourself. So I discovered it's like, they were not telling, this security was not telling people about the parking that is free at the bar for the company she's working for, but she was directing people to this other parking where you pay, so that at the end of the day, I think she's given something, like an incentive. And I asked myself, surely, she's, most people who have cars rarely go to that place. Because just a few, um, a few uh, meters, there's another bigger supermarket with free parking, enough for parking space. You don't pay. They have so many shops under one roof. You go there, you do all the shopping you want in the supermarket. It's bigger than this one. Their shelves are full. They have everything. Other shops are in the same place. They have restaurants. They have salons, they have chemists, they just have other places, in other, other shops in the same roof. So why would I sacrifice myself to come here where I have to pay for parking, while I can go somewhere else where I get free parking? After a while I discovered it's like the owners of the supermarket didn't know. Again I spoke to them and told the customer care. Sorry, I know I like to give feedback, but again I did not tell them exactly whom I dealt with, who was doing that. Because I don't like spoiling somebody else's income so i just told them you people you have a free parking it took a very long time for me to under to know that you have the free parking while in front here you have to pay do you know how many of your clients you are losing who have cars who have to go and to the other supermarket because they'll get a free parking there while you guys you have a free parking and people have no information about it you've been here for years but you've never put any sign thank god they took my advice so the next time I went, I found they had put that free parking thing. But I think it's already too late for them. That business is falling down. You go to the town, you can tell their shelves are empty. You go to the estates where we have the same chain, it's falling down. They've already closed some of their stores. This goes to show us that no matter how big a brand is, the staff can make it fall. And when it falls, you as a staff, you will lose your employment, you will lose your income. Maybe there are those who will go somewhere else, they have experience and they will succeed. But I'm telling you, not everyone will succeed. You will have helped to destroy somebody's business. The business that was helping you, the business that was feeding you, the business that was providing maybe medical for you and your family members, the business that gives you bonus at the end of the year, that takes care of you once in a while when you need something, they can be lenient enough to take care of you. It's a high time that you take care of the place that you work. Don't look at the person who's directly affecting you in that place. Look at the owner of the business. Look at the bigger picture and take care of people's company. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Another thing we're normally told is never burn the roof of the house while you're in it. This lady was destroying a company while she was still working there. She didn't care where her salary came. Same thing that goes with people that we stay with. Sometimes you stay with a relative or a sibling that you're, he, is helping you. Not that even if you're staying with your sibling, it is not your, they are, you, you don't have a right to be helped by them. You're staying with a relative, they've really done you a favor. Because for me, from what I know, is that the only people in this world that should be able to take care of you are your parents. And they should only take care of you while you're still learning. When you become an adult, you should move out and take care of yourself so that you can become responsible. The same thing that happens, you find people staying with relatives, they're fed, 
they are paid for school fees, they are paid for college fees, whatever they eat, they are anything, where they sleep, everything is being taken care of by these relatives. But when they are asked to do something small, they complain. Then they go and bad about somebody. Before you do that, ask yourself, this person is not my mother or my father, but they have sacrificed and denied themselves something so that they can be able to assist me. In the Bible, there's this story in Matthew, I think Matthew 25, of the talents, where the master was going for a journey and he had three servants. He gave the first servant five talents, the next one was given three talents, and the, following, the last one was given one talent. The first servant was given five talents, made use, doubled the talents that he was given. The second servant was given the three talents, also worked hard and brought back double the talents. The other one went and hid the one talent that they were given and returned it back to the servant when they came back. To the master, sorry, when they came back. The master was not uh, amused by this. You know? So even in the Bible, it shows us that you should be able to take care of the, your master's business, your master's property. Help them to grow. And even you will be helped to grow. All the other two servants who doubled their talents got more. But the servant who returned the exact talent lost everything. Because even the one talent that he had was taken away from them. So before you bad mouth or do something, kindly think. Think back. How much has this place given me? Why should I make this business fall down, even if I'm a shopkeeper? Why should I let this shop fall down while the owner has trusted me to help them grow so that they can also be able to pay me at the end of the day and they can take care of myself? This is something worth thinking about. Kindly do not forget to like, click the button, like, subscribe, share my videos. Give me your comments kindly. I will truly appreciate and I hope to see you once again on the next video.